had one toilet for 600 people. Women stood in line for three hours to make use of it. Schools normally form a spine of protection for children, a place where children can seek humanitarian services and normality. Go ahead. And again, you can see that some of these cameras are shaking. The person at the podium asking if she could continue. There was confusion as, again, the 4.8 earthquake interrupted the U.N. Security Council meeting in New York City. Madam President, am I okay to continue? Education is in many ways life-saving. No sanitation to speak of. A community I visited had one toilet for 600 people. Women stood in line for three hours to make use of it. Schools normally form a spine of protection for children, a place where children can seek humanitarian services and normality. Go ahead. And again, you can listen in as the speaker was asking whether she should continue speaking. But again, I did want to share this with you as we were bringing it to you live here on Live Now from Fox. No one was aware at the time, but all of that camera shaking uh, and the tremors that you see right there, that was caused by the 4.8 magnitude earthquake interrupting the U.N. Security Council meeting. And speaking of New York City, our Fox 5 affiliate continues their in-depth, extensive coverage coverage of this ongoing breaking news. We are going to transition to their special coverage right now. It didn't last for more than a minute. We know actually it was much, um, much shorter than that. But in those seconds, right, there's all kinds of thoughts. Like I surely thought uh, while I was in the newsroom uh, with some of my colleagues as Antoine uh, described, okay, what's happening? And then the immediate thought was, is there uh, an earthquake or was this an earthquake? Obviously, as we've been talking about throughout uh, the morning and now into the afternoon, unusual for New York City. And, you know, news travels. I've heard from friends in Miami uh, texting me, hey, are you okay? And also from viewers reaching out through social media, watching our coverage, appreciating our coverage. And, of course, we will continue uh, to cover this as this unfolds. Now, we have crews covering this uh, across New York City. Here's some sound uh, hearing from someone in lower Manhattan. Take a listen. It's just like... And that was it. And then the next thing I know, everybody called me, yo, Sarge, you felt the earthquake? I said, I felt a little something. I've heard that there were earthquakes before, but we didn't feel them or anything like that. We had no idea. You know, so it just, I, didn't, I had no idea. I thought it was just a passing train, you know, and the people that were next to me were like, is that a train? Is that the train? Well, we weren't near a train station like that, so. But no, I wasn't surprised. But it was scary still. Been up on the 25th floor, not knowing if it's gonna hit again. What can you do? Yeah, I mean, I'm glad it was only a 4.8. Like, I'm very grateful, I guess, that we're all still here and it's 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 all still up. And I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. The thing about something like this or a major weather event, something that happens in an instant, it makes you think of how quickly things can change. And I think that's exactly why we're hearing the relief across New York City. Back to you inside. Yeah, Stephanie, you, you hit that nail on the head. And yeah. That guy was talking about it feeling like a train. Absolutely. It felt like a really big right? train <laughs> passing by underneath you and lasting for kind of a long time, about 20 seconds And here. that's when you realize, okay, there's definitely no line, no subway line underneath no, here. No, so there is not. And we're, what, great. four, three stories up above yeah. the ground. So It's interesting also, that one of the guys pointed out, I've heard of earthquakes happening before, but I've never felt one. And just to point out to some facts, the largest earthquake was in 1783 that this occurred here. 5.3, that was just west of New York City. So you can imagine people here absolutely not used to that. So that's why it kind of throws them off. No, absolutely not. And we, we, we've had littler ones over the past, like, 10 years or so, but nothing, you know, 4.7, 4.8 magnitude like we saw today. It's also interesting that this was centered in Lebanon, New Jersey, but people felt this as far away as Allentown, Pennsylvania. Absolutely. You've seen people in Connecticut. The governor said in Albany she could feel it. So 
this definitely had a little bit of a reach here. Absolutely. But you know what's interesting though is because because of that reach, there are some scientific facts that back that up because our rocks are different here. We have older. This is according to seismologists. Okay. I I've always want to ask the reason why because you're, there's a difference between earthquakes on the east coast rather than the earthquakes on the uh, west coast. There's okay. a difference in rocks. See, I wasn't and, aware of that. And it travels further and wider than what we normally do experience in uh, All right. on the west coast. But Michelle Ross actually in Lebanon, New Jersey, uh, talking to people there as you can see the epicenter where things are happening. I've seen some videos on social media of people closer to the epicenter where things are falling off. They're, you know, they're cupboards, they're, they're tables so that's a bit more strong as the impact for residents there Michelle that's right, Bianca and Chris. Here in the epicenter, we are now a couple of hours past from when the earthquake happened. But let me start with what we do not see now a couple of hours later. We do not see down power lines. We do not see any structural damage. These stunning Victoria homes here on Brunswick Avenue, they are still standing. But that doesn't take away from that moment of shock that residents were feeling. Again, here we're on Brunswick Avenue. We have a resident here, David Fisher. He says that this felt like an explosion when it first went off. Thank you so much for Dave, uh, joining us, Dave. Not what did you... What did you feel? What did you think was going on? Well, I mean, initially, within the first couple seconds, the, the dogs uh, reacted um, to something. And, I, and then within about a second or so, it felt like an explosion, um, sounded like an explosion. And you felt waves come up from underneath you. Um, and my initial reaction was that the furnace had exploded. So I yelled down to my son to check the furnace. He said everything was okay. He came up the stairs, and then you felt the house shift back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for about 10 seconds. I've never felt anything like it. And it's so interesting. The dogs felt it before you did. They, they, you said they, they started barking. Right. They, they initially, they started barking, I would say, about one or two seconds before you felt an explosion. You, I mean, you heard an explosion, and that's what I thought it was. Um, and then you just felt what felt like it came up from underneath you, like a wave came up from underneath you. And you said you ran out, asked your neighbors, and your neighbors came out as well. Right. And so I went, I went outside because I checked the house. It wasn't me. I still had no idea that it was an earthquake. I, I thought it was an explosion. And so I came outside to check to see if something was out. And all the neighbors were on the street, and everyone was like, what just happened? And what were those conversations like? How long were you out here talking to your neighbors? We were out for a few minutes, and, and then with I would say within a minute or two, the phone started alerting you. It was a 4.8. It was an earthquake. Epicenter was uh, the Lebanon area. Um, so you knew pretty quickly um, that, that it was an earthquake. But in the initial um, few minutes, everyone had no idea what had happened. Everyone was thought some sort of explosion in the area had happened. And it seems like over here, I saw you talking to your neighbors outside. It's a, it's a tight-knit community. Did you, tight -knit. did you find relief in knowing that everybody else felt the same thing and it wasn't anything very major? I, initially, I felt relief because I knew it wasn't my house, you know, and I hadn't lost something, you know, with regards to my house. And then after that, seeing everybody, you know, it's come out confused, everybody asking the same questions, you know, pulling together, you know, everybody was standing around saying, okay, th you know, they're okay, they're okay. I got to check on this person. I got to check on this person. Some of some of the more elderly people, people stop by to, and that's what this neighborhood does. It pulls together with people. Great. Thank you so much, Dave, for your time. You Appreciate it. it. Glad you're okay. You Thank, got you. It. Thank you. Thank you. And just as you heard with Dave here, you know, it, it was very quick, eight to ten seconds at most. And the best way that I can explain it uh, with other people talking to other people, they were saying that it was quick, but it was long enough to know that it was something that you couldn't just brush off. So if you were in your car driving, you may have thought, okay, it's strong winds, but it it was long enough to know maybe it's not strong winds or if you were in your house like Dave was you may have thought okay construction or you know weather something going on outside but long enough to know this is happening just a few seconds too long to understand can't really brush this off so everyone here back in the community others walking their dog pretty much getting back to normal not so much damage I was talking to Dave didn't really suffered any damage it didn't really suffer any damage inside of his house it was just the initial shock and the shaking that really scared everyone here back to you guys in the studio yeah, really thankful that everyone seems to be okay at yeah. this point. Um, I want to talk about now, you were actually communicating with someone on Twitter this morning after you saw a video of this guitar player. He was playing, he was practicing in a living room, it looked yeah. like, in Bridgewater, New Jersey, not too far away from Lebanon. You reached out and said, can we use this video? And that's the first thing you do, right, is when something like this happens, you're like, let me go on Twitter, see what I can find. Yeah. X, uh -huh. formerly uh -huh. known as Twitter. And the video that we're about to show you, really, you can understand this is what it felt like for yeah. most people that were inside of a building. So take a look at this. Who's that? 
Yeah. <laughs> like he points out what was that because like you said, you almost thought it was a subway. Like it's hard but, for Well, there, there are many thoughts that go through your yeah. mind. Subway, was this some type of attack? Is the building on the verge of collapse? You know, is there some sort of structural issue here? Th this lasted for about 20 seconds and that gave a lot of us a lot of time to look at each other with concern in our eyes and it got your heart rate going for yeah. sure. Interesting. We do have another video too as well from, you know, the UN, which is not too far from our studio and what they experienced there. We'll take a look at that as well. Women stood in line for three hours to make use of it. Schools normally form a spine of protection for children, a place where children can seek humanitarian services and normality. Go ahead. Education is... Wow. That's good. Is that nerve pain? Yeah. Education is... You're, you're making the ground shake. <laughs> Education is in many ways... Madam President, am I okay to continue? Education is in many ways life Wow. I mean, <laughs> that, it's funny that they're joking about it in the moment. You're making the ground shake with your speech. But you, you notice early on in the video, you a see couple a couple he around. heads just kind of go up and look mm -hmm. around. That's kind of how it started here, too. Yeah. What, what is, what is, you it, feeling that, too? But it's just crazy. They didn't miss a beat. No. They did not miss a no, beat. They, they said, didn't. continue with the long speech.